But here it is. Why? Oh. I did forget to turn that back on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I have never played Final Fantasy 2. Well, I've never... I have played Final Fantasy 2. Not much. Only a little bit. Um, confirm A. Back B. There. Okay, new game. Oh, I can name my dudes. Uh, we're gonna keep them the name of the characters for this game just because it's my first time. Otherwise I would rename everybody. But the Onion Knights in three, I believe have no names, so they will get the names. We will, we will do that. This game I have a feeling is gonna take me a little bit longer to beat than the first game did. Um, I'm hoping not too much longer. I would like to finish this within 20 hours as well. I think that would be a, a good, a nice, nice roundabout number there. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's begin. Yeah. There's a main character in this. A character with a name. A long-lived peace. Is that an end? The Emperor of Palamecia has called for the butt and has begun his campaign for world conquest. He's called for what? Oh, hold on, that would that scroll by too fast. Called forth monsters from the underworld, okay. The rebel army arose in the kingdom of Finn. To thwart the Emperor's plans. But the rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to the remote town of Altair. Al Altair? Altair. It's not the main character of Assassin's Creed. Huh? Bored youths from Flint, Finn also found themselves blah blah blah. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire, but their escape wasn't over. Th this is scrolling far too fast. I don't have any magic, so. Oh god, I am. Oh god, I am. Well. He got a chance to fight there to, to slap somebody. Didn't really help him much, but you know. Will he live? He will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Finn. Fallen from terrible wounds. At the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. His life is not in danger. Uh, his life is not in danger. The sigil strengthened his life. We should let him rest. Of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. The Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought. The building in Basque. Their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. Where am I? Leon? Maria? Guy? Where is it, Guy? Where are you? Therian, you're alive! I thought... I, I thought you'd... I'm fine, Maria. You seem alright, too. Guy, or is it Guy? But wait. Where's Leon? Princess, fi Princess of Finn, save us. But Leon not here. Is Guy just an idiot? I see. Don't worry. I'm sure he's okay. The 
so you've regained your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. It was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, Your Highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please let us join the rebel army. I could never allow such a thing. You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. But we have no homes. Not anymore. The Imperials attacked and our parents... Our parents... I am truly sorry, but that changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you've nowhere else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is the Wild Rose. Remember it well. The Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It represents our hope for a flourishing future of strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives suffer there in confinement even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? It's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is far too dangerous to travel to now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may be of some assistance. Yep, okay. I see your destiny clearly. The future at hold seems closely entwined with my own. You'll begin by journeying to Finn, and is the first step towards realizing your fate. Hmm. You've wasted no time using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you, but not much of value by listening. I'll offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Flynn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. One of you fall before you reach Finn. Go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. There are no key terms to learn. Really. The part of Palum, or the port of Palum, lies not far east of here, but a lake separates us, so you won't be able to reach the town without a canoe. Heading to Finn, are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd consider reconsider if I were you. It's a dangerous place to be, you see. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies a small village called Gatreya. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the sigil that saved your life. There you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring. I think you're going to need all the advice they can spare. But I finished the first game. What do you mean? It's the Rebel Army's war room. Okay. All right. So back to the room that we came from. Oh, excuse me. I would like to. I would like to zoom, zoom. I want to zoom, zoom, zoom into boom, booms. Should I tell you about chests? Yes, please. Treasure chests contain things like items and gill. Many treasure chests are also hold rare items you'll not find for sale in any shop. If you're lucky enough to come across such items. Hold on to them. Treasure chests aren't all gill and glory by any means. Some chests conceal monsters lurking within. There's no way to know what's inside a chest until you open it, but monsters often accompany especially good loot. There are many different types of monsters. Some monsters are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. For example, the undead are weak against fire, and aquatic monsters are weak against lightning. However, there are also monsters that absorb particular elements. Casting fire on a monster made of flame will heal it instead of doing damage. You can damage zombies and other undead with restorative magic like cure and items like garlic. Be careful when using spells that steal HP or MP, such as Drain and Osmos. When used against the undead, these spells can backfire and hurt you instead. Uh, no. I know what the flea command... Uh, right here. I'm not going to read it. I know what the flea command does. Makes me run. Would you care to hear about the information displayed on the status menu? Sure. You know the attributes and, and abilities displayed on the status menu by fighting battles. Attributes such as strength and magic will change according to the actions you take in battle. A character attacks. His or her strength and weapon skill may improve. Similarly, if a character uses magic, his or her spirit and intellect and magic level may improve. There are 11 different attributes that can change. Would you like me to explain those 11 attributes in more detail? Yes, please. HP. If a character loses HP during battle, his or her maximum HP will increase. It should. Potentially. Could. Participating in lots of battles can also increase maximum HP. If a character's MP drops during battle, his or her maximum MP will rise. Attacking during battle will increase your character's strength. If a character loses HP during battle, his or her stamina will improve. Using white magic in battle will increase the caster's spirit. 
Battling while your evasion is high will raise agility. Using black magic in battle will increase your caster's intellect. Character's MP drops during battle, his or her magic will rise. As strength rises, so will accuracy. Having better weapons will also improve accuracy. Being attacked by foes will raise evasion. Equipping a shield will also improve it. When foes cast spells on a character, his or her magic defense will rise. As you can see, it never hurts to try all manner of things in battle. Sure, there are seven weapons, categories, swords, spears, axes, staves, 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 staves staffs, knives, bows, and unarmed. Swords, spears, axes, staves, and knaves are two are one-handed and can be equipped along with a shield. It's also possible to equip two one-handed weapons, one in each hand. Equipping a bow requires two free hands, but allows a character to attack them with the same damage force from the rear row of the party formation. Fighting unarmed is Another splendid choice and can be as powerful as any weapon. Unfortunately, equipping a shield cuts an unarmed combatant's attack power in half. If you plan to fight unarmed, it's probably wise to just skip shields altogether. Not sure. There are four types of armor. Shields, helms, body armors, gloves. Okay, I know. I, I'm not going to read about that because it's obvious. What would you say to a little lesson on skill levels? Sure. Skill levels can be divided into two broad categories. Weapons, skill levels, and magic skill levels. Wait, there's more. Weapon skill levels are divided by weapon type, such as swords and axes. Similarly, magic skill levels are divided by spell. Spells like cure and fire each have their own skill level. Attacking with a given type of weapon improves the corresponding weapon skill. As your skill levels rise, your attack and accuracy with those weapon types of weapons will likewise improve. Casting a given spell improves the corresponding magic skill. Spells become more powerful and effective as their skill levels rise. Okay. Uh, no, I, I understand how magic works. Uh, sure. This is a new, this is a new feature. To this particular video game. Franchise. And, okay. In the course of a conversation with someone, a particularly important word may come up. When this happens, three commands will appear. Ask, learn, and key items. Select learn to commit the key term to memory. You can then use ask to ask people about any key terms you've learned. Keep in mind that only certain words can be learned in this way. To show someone an item from your inventory, select key items. When you learn new words or find rare items, you should ask people around about the words or sh show them what you found. Would you like me to explain the formation command to you? No, I understand what that is too. All right. So immediately, this game has a lot more going on than anything that the first game had. Broadsword, bow, axe. Oh. I, I still had turbo on. <laughs> An arrow struck me in the back during the battle, leaving me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter Hilda now serves as regent. You should speak with her. I already did. Wild Rose. You're in the rebel hideout in the town of Altair. Gordon, the Prince of Kashuan, is hiding out here in Altair. I don't know what happened, but something has made him lose faith in himself. In a potion. Princess Hilda fled here when Flynn, Finn was attacked. I want to say Flynn. She's doing a remarkable job of leading the rebel army while His Majesty recovers. Okay, we got a big old house up there. We got items, we got magic, swords, shields. I'm Paul, greatest thief in all the world. They have yet to invent the loot I can't burgle or steal. The Imperial coffers have kept my purse fat, Gilly. Never steal from the rebels. I'll be sure of that. My home was in Finn, too. Can't even go home now that the Empire is occupied the city. Town of Altair. Imperial forces haven't been deployed this far out yet. It's only a matter of time, though. Is 
you got to rest up and heal. Would you like to stay? Yes, please. Pleasant dreams. My name is Gordon. I was once a prince of Kashwan. Now I'm nothing but a coward. My brother Scott fell in battle. I abandoned my kingdom and fled here. So you've asked to take up arms in the struggle? So afraid Hilda will turn me away that I haven't even asked her. Installing here. This is a spineless coward. Go ahead, laugh. I deserve it. Gonna do for ye. Removes curses, cures amnesia. Nothing yet. Thank you. Here we got potions, high potions, eye drops. Uh, let's pick up four of those. Have five of those on my person. Thank you. Phoenix Downs. Ethers. Okay, this guy's got the expensive shit. All right. Oh my God! I can buy elixirs. There are fifty thousand of these. Jesus Christ. Nothing. Oh, this must be the sanctuary. A church, if you will. Church. Gonna do for you. Fire tome. Uh, I do. She just a cure spell. Okay, I want one of those. I do want one of these, but I'm gonna hold off for a second. Damn, only one per character? Shh. And make money if you can just teach everybody the same thing off of one product. Wait, do I even have equipment? I have a broadsword and a knife is stronger than a broadsword? That doesn't make any sense. Three, oh, accuracy 75, invasions plus two. Yeah, it's a better, it's better accuracy. Okay, all right, that makes sense. I understand. What does homie have equipped? Nothing? Oh, he's an axe. Okay. What could you want with me? I'm just an old man. The geezer act is just a cover. My name's Tobul, and I'm the best darn blacksmith in the rebel army. Okay, cool. Thanks. Good to know. Not humble about it at all, that's for sure. to go or what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna fight a little bit. Let's oh oh oh, oh I can turn this on now. Uh, yes, yes. We grinding. Let's go. Do this for a bit. I want to get some spells for everybody. I want to, I think I want to get Cure for Furion as well. Yeah, 
Okay, stay poisoned. Wait. Oh, poison does not last, last post battle. Interesting. Oh, oops, just casting here. I want to have... I think I want to have, like... What? Like 400 before. He's using an axe. Axe probably has like shit level up still. It's Connor Noise. some some extra shit here um uh no I want fire I want two of those okay. fire is like the most usually the most useful of the uh magics. I'm not going to teach Guy anything. He's just going to be my, my, my bruiser. My big beefy bruiser. Um, let's stay at the end though to heal. And then we're going to we're going to grind a little more. Since there are no levels I can't like say oh I want to be X level. Because it's not, it's not how this game works. Let's look at some stats here. Um... I wouldn't mind having his sword level be five, or bow level be four, and his axe level be four as well, before we move on. I like this overworld theme too, it's kind of morose, uh, and it, it, it has a nice... I think it's pleasant, to be honest. And yes, I just said it was morose, and I still think it's pleasant. Maybe not morose, it's a melancholy. There we go. Bow. 
I think I'm gonna keep Furion with swords. I might do like actually you know what? No, hold on. Do I have enough? Not yet. I wanna get a lance for him. If I could just get his axe to level 3, I'd be happy. It doesn't look like the others are getting any levels in anything because I'm fighting the same enemies, so. Probably as a means to be like, hey, move on. and slightly west to a city of Gatrain. This is the village of Gatreya. Finn is just over there across the lake, see? Okay. The Imperial forces have occupied Castle Finn. The gates are drawn and no one can enter. And with Imperial troops and monsters roaming the streets, the city isn't any better off. Treya and Altair haven't fallen into the clutch of the Empire yet. Once the Dreadnought is complete, nothing will be able to stop the Empire. Bob just said the outskirts of Finn, but the Empire invaded. The barkeep didn't make it out in time. Though they say he's still working there. Pouring drinks for the Imperials. I guess I'm going back to Finn. Uh, let's quick check to see what's in the weapon shop. Probably nothing that I don't already have. Actually, I want a guy to become proficient in swads as well. I'm not really grinding anymore. It's 
that if I go too far west, I'll run into enemies that are too strong for me. And I kind of want to see what that translates to. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's what this means. Got it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Head too far west, you're going to fight enemies you have no chance of f f winning against. Let's see what that translates to. Two ogres, two turtles. All right. Final Fantasy has a way of making, um, turban. It's not here. I do like status that status effects don't like, exist post-battle. You know what I mean? This is where I'm headed. Just as we've heard, the city's crawling with Imperial soldiers. We have to be careful. Make sure not to get too close. Hi. Rebel curs. I'm gonna die. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Shit, Maria's dead. Shit, Maria's dead. Um... That's right, monsters are around town. to bring her back alive. Can I use the item shop? Probably not. Go bring, I have to get her back. She's not gaining any levels, and I need her to. She's yeah. She's sure her stat boosts are not happy. That's that's what I meant. Do I have Fury in, in the back row? The changing row that one time actually like affect where he's standing. No, he's still in front. Okay.
Look at me evade. Pray a warm light suddenly envelops you in a voice of flowing and passion rings in your ears. Wondering soul return now from that distant land where sorrow and darkness hold sway. She back. happy that we have MP in this game as opposed to li like limited number of uses um I'll pick up a handful of those just because we have Ooh, maiden's kiss and needle oh they introduced toad status in this game nice you can become Toad. Uh, that is tempting. Oh boy. Damn. Ethers are a thousand dollars. Shizes. Blizzard. Thirty and I'm Strength up. A strong though. That's good.
Good. Her health finally went up. Shit. Whoa! You think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter? Imperials are as ill bred as they come. Ah! Here with the rebels! Uh, you'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. Hmm? What am I going to do? Oh, I've had it with the, this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. Oh, okay. Secret door! Let's open these first. Are you going to turn me over to the Empire? At least have the decency to kill me first. So, you're rebel soldiers, are you? My name is Scott. I'm the Prince of Kashwan. Prince Scott? Great Scott! We were told you fell in the battle. Thank goodness you're still alive. I am, but not... Not for much longer. I'm afraid I must ask a favor of you. Something you must, must tell my brother Gordon. Tell him I know he has a uh, great strength. He must learn to have more faith in, in himself. I also have a message for the king. Tell him the reason Finn, Finn fell so quickly is that Count Borgen betrayed us. He's been made a general in the Imperial Army. One more thing, tell Hilda. Tell Hilda that I love her. Eh. No. No, don't deliver that. That last message. The confessions of a dying man, they would only bring her pain. My, my brother Leon, have you heard of him? I'm sorry, but I have not. I wish I could be of more help. Here. I want you to take my ring. I'm sure it will be of use. Maybe it's all the talking, but I've grown extremely tired. Excuse me, I just need to rest just for a little while. Well, that man just died in front of us. And we get the fanfare because we got a ring. <laughs> They didn't start putting hidden items in bookcases, no. I ain't talking to any of you because you just try and beat my ass. <laughs> All right. Back to Altair. We're gonna let Maria do all the fighting because we are feminists. It's a really bad joke, but I'm not taking it back. doing some fairly good damage guys out here just getting health for no reason I'm jealous Thank you. 
Oh, I just realized, we're not the prince in this game. At least, not yet. <laughs> I'm sure there will be a twist at some point. Oh, it turns out Furion is actually the prince of a forgotten land. Surprise! But you didn't see that coming in 1989. Uh, hold on. Let me go find her, his brother real fast. That ring! It's my brother's! You really said all those things about me? Yeah, he said you have great strength, buddy. Um, just in case they make me fight before... Before I... Have a chance to heal. Heal? ring belongs to Scott. Is he, is he alive? No, unfortunately he's not. He gave us this ring in Finn just before he lost the last of his strength. Did he say anything? Nope. Nothing. Your Highness, please. The ring belongs with you. No. Keep it. The bastard couldn't even tell me he loved me in his dying breath. I don't want to. I don't want to know. It suits a personage of color. Or, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't believe I. Whoa, Freudian slip. It, it suits a personage of courage. You infiltrated Finn and returned to tell the tale. You've proven yourselves quite capable. It would seem I underestimated your strength. I would have lent that strength to our cause. There's a magical metal known as Mithril. And we need strong warriors if we are able to obtain it. We lost Finn because we were ill-equipped. The Empire fought with weapons and armor made of Mithril. I have charged Joseph, a man living in Salamand, the task of finding a source of Mithril. I do not know the cause. We've been out of contact with him for some time now. Would you go with Minwu to Salamand to look into this? Um, I mean, sure. I heard Her Highness's words, and I've waited here for you since. To reach Salamand, we must first pass through the port town of Paloon. Take my canoe, and let us be on our way. Hey, Minwu, join the party. Let's go. I obtained canoe. Oh. I'm going to say it now. The portraits in the PSP version of this game way cooler than the portraits in this game. Or this version. What do you got equipped there, bud? Staff. Copper curious. You folks wouldn't be looking to book passage on a ship, would you? Or just 32 kill will see you safely to Puft. 
Pepoffed? The hell kind of name is that? Right, let's see what kind of weapons we got here. Ooh, and magics. The ship headed out of our little port. Oh, we'll take us straight to Puffed. The Empire hasn't attacked Palom or Palum or Puffed. Palum or Form. At least not yet. Now there's a fine lass. It's about you and me who have a drink. With you, not a chance. Bafsk, Salamand. Once you pass Poff, they say all the cities are under the control of the Empire. Palum's a town of freedom. Want to settle down with here with me, Hanson? Settle down? No. Have a little fun? Maybe. Um. I do want one of these. I want three of those, one of those. Oh, that's right, I can have a weapon in each hand. <laughs> I forgot. I'll go buckler, and we'll go javelin. character. Not important. What? You can get on board. It's the ship right in front of town. You can't miss it. Oh, just like that. That's it. Okay. This is the port of Poft. Salaman is to the north, and to our east is Bafsk. Oh, you look different than everybody else. You here to ride the airship? If you've got the cash, there's no place I can't take you. You want me on one on the airship? You pay the guy behind me. 
Can I interest you folks in a ride on Sid's Pride and Joy, the only airship of its kind in all the world? No matter how far, we'll take you there in destination in a blink of an eye. Of course, transportation of this fine caliber comes at a cost. Interested? Yes. Ah, okay. There's my, that's how much it costs. 600 to go to Finn. 700 to go to Altair. Why? Why so expensive? Oh. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I could take that and go to Salamand quickly, or I can walk my happy ass over there, which I will probably do because it means I get into more fights, which is, the I mean, you need to do that in this game. This game incentivizes fights in a way that uh, is actually kind of interesting because, you know, in like most Final Fantasies, you don't need to get into fights outside of like, oh, I just want to make sure that I'm leveled a bit. Okay, I think it's time everybody attacks. I need a world map. <sighs> Damn, Maria's strength is going through the roof. You love to see. Give me, give me a second. There it is. <laughs> Hold on, I want to get into a fight and see what that looks like. Everybody's got a Genji glove. Target to another dimension or transports a party to the previous floor when used in battle. Does it do anything? Uh, 
This is the one I want. Okay. We are going to grind so that I can buy teleport. No, it's exit from dungeons. Which I'll take any day of the week. Not that I actually used it much in one, but I have a feeling the dungeons will be more plentiful in this. And they'll be, like, longer. So I'll, I'll want to leave them. Still good. Yes, I'll agree. It is... Uh, slightly cost prohibitive just because it's a thousand gold or a thousand gil, but still. Sam Squatch! Wait a minute, I got fire from this. Let's get my magic up. God damn, she's so powerful. Okay. All right, Mr. I have all of the white mage. Oh, he is a white mage. He's, he's a... I should have had her cast fire as well. Kind of let these two do their thing for a bit. HP actually. Marie's MP went up quite a bit. Magic went up. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Guys, HP continues to steadily increase for reasons that are still beyond me, but you know, that's fine. He's not doing anything. He's not even really taking damage. He's just staying in there <laughs> with an axe and a sword. <laughs> I love Yosef, but I know that I'm in, that if I'm around, I would just be getting in his way. Yosef? Yosef, what's up, buddy? You have business with me? Um, Wild Rose. Oh, you're here for Princess Zelda. A little short in the tooth, aren't you? You kids can't fool me. But Mithril? I haven't found any yet. I do have a few leads, but... 
I don't plan on sharing what I do know with a bunch of perfect strangers. I don't need you to do a little something to prove you are... Oh, you say you are. There are a bunch of people from Salamand who are being forced to work in the cave at Semit Falls. Rescue them. What's up? Okay. How much money do I have? Not enough to buy anything significant. Yet. All right, we're gonna continue to spend. Oh, I should probably do more than just cast iron. I wish it would tell me where some of this stuff is. Like, it's not even giving me a direction. It's just like, yeah, there's the falls. Okay, I think I see how to get there. Stays. Poison does not. Good to know. Back to town, get into another fight. Huh. That guy will just kill him. That's fine. And buy some magic. Teleports. I really want life as well. So. I'm gonna snag that up whilst I can. One more fight. And then I'll be done grinding and I'll move on. Mm, maybe two more fights. I don't think this is gonna give me enough money. Did 
did not. Ooh, fire leveled up. Nice. Ooh, can I? Hmm. I wonder if I can multi-target with my fire. I can. Woohoo! It diminishes the amount of damage it does, but hey, it's still something. Fight something that actually gives me gill? Jesus. Double crit. Let's go. 18 kill. <laughs> I fight those goblins again. They gave me a shit thing. Didn't, wasn't going to take me so long to get back to the first town. I want to buy more magic. <laughs> I had to go back eventually anyway. I still got, I got fire. Fire's good enough right now. like to be able to stay at the end. These things give me no help, or no, no money. This probably won't give me much money either, but it's these better opportunities to attack stuff. to stay at the end. like I like my my wee grinding thing I like that being where it is damn it um simply because it looks cool in battle but I also hate where it is so I'm gonna move it in front of me because then it's still legible and it's kind of where it needs to be It's really not in the way because it's over my body. I'm like not blocking anything important. Most time, I can still make myself go away, right? Sam Squatch! That's it?
Yay, I can canoe. I want to save. Treasure in the upper left. Let me go down. Okay. Balloon. Sam's going to change. You do a little bit of grinding. It's funny how quickly you... <laughs> Uh, obtain the achievements for killing enemies because <laughs> it's not fights it's enemies specifically like I've already killed 300 at least Chest over there, chest right there, chest up there. Yep. Water is this glass? Is that a 69? I think that was nice. I'll find out in just a second. Nope, it was 63. All right. Chest top middle? <gasps> You're correct. Thank you. Unlike the first game, this game does have missable chests. So. It's missable beasties too, but I'm not, I'm not shooting for bestiaries. Dragoon, I saw you were playing Astro Libra. I'm curious what you think of it.
rude? Damn balloons. Mm. I've heard it compared to like uh, old school East games. Chose wisely the first attempt. Interesting. That was a nice. That was a nice. And then it has like a an odd scale system where you just throw a bunch of shit on it to try and like keep it balanced. And you get buffs and stuff depending. I did choose correctly first thing. seems interesting. It is a game that I, I will attempt to play at some point. I also realized that I have Rise of the Third Power still installed and has yet to be played. <laughs> and while I enjoyed playing about an hour or two of Chained Echoes, I don't really see myself playing more of it, sadly. We got a chest here. There. It's just a... It's a it's a pretty game that seems to have a lot of nothing to, going on. And the combat's... Fine? But also... Not. Chain echoes. I know you didn't like it. But I said I was going to give it a little bit of a shot, and I did. It was fine. Kind of like the idea of what they were, what they're going for story wise. Like, I like what's happening in that world but I also don't care they introduced far too many characters too quickly and didn't give me a chance to kind of like stew with any of them I gotta heal Maria oh hey she's at over 100 health thanks played like two hours. I'm, maybe I only played like an hour. I really didn't play much. And yeah, the overdrive and overheat system is interesting, but I don't, I don't know. It doesn't, oh, I just realized I haven't I didn't mess with this game's volume at all. <laughs> That's probably really loud. Playing for an hour and a half, this game being really loud. I didn't find it to be that bad. It was easy enough to maintain um, overdrive without going too far out of too far too close to overheating. 
Um, something I wanted to do and I don't remember what... Oh! Audio! Okay, that I can see. I can see. I can see that. Cause yeah, even some of the fights that I was doing, feeling like they were a little long in the tooth. All right. I've been playing for like an hour and a half without a break, so I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna finish this dungeon and I'll probably call it good for the evening. I'm kind of tired. Oh. But hey, we finished Final Fantasy One and moved right on into Final Fantasy Two, and it's. I don't know. I kind of like this. Like, I'm not fussing with levels or anything like that. It's... I can see a lot in this particular game that is now in current Final Fantasies in terms of... You're not really looking at, like, a number specifically. You are just looking at numbers for your characters and watching them go up. And that actually, like, translates to your character being stronger as opposed to just just one number that goes up that makes all the other numbers go up too and this one you can kind of kind of focus on that but i don't know i'm not really i'm just kind of like hitting a but at the same time if i want my spells to get better i have to use them so all right here's some sonic i'll be back in a second um buttons i might have to get a blanket soon people. Bubbles, please. Therian, it's you. Am I ever glad you're here? This is Yosef's daughter, Nelly. I think that dastardly Borgen's been holding her hostage to threaten Yosef. Princess Hilda told you to bring her back some mithril, right? Well, that's normally where I step in. I figured out that this was where the mithril was coming from easy enough. So I thought I'd get the jump on you guys and nab the mithril before you could get here. Only I messed up and got caught. Me, of all people. Well, I know when I'm in over my head. So long. But don't worry, I'll take everyone here with me. Thanks for saving us, I owe you one. That didn't sound like he was a good guy. Singing as he wanted to get the jump on us. Well, well, he wanted to get to the mithril before we could. Home. I can teach magic to uh Guy can learn fire. There we go. Okay.
<laughs> Figures. And if I go down, I got nothing. If I go to the right, I got nothing. I gotta go. Okay. Hmm. There's a door there. Let's see if it's got treasure. Damn. Okay, I need to turn the sound effects down a little bit. That's a, it's a good level. Treasure chest. Check the, I'm checking the, the doors to see if there's any treasures. That's all. Never thought I'd have to deal with your kind down here. Well, if you think you're getting mithril, you'd be right. A mithril blade straight through your heart. <laughs> yeah.
Got him with the axe. Let's go. God, if all the bosses are like this, where they just don't take damage from weapons. Oh, that sucks. That's it. That's it. Min Wu's staff level went up. That's it. I mean, everybody else's stats went up, I guess. Ooh, got a Mithril axe. I got a Mithril in a chest. Still another chest I haven't gotten yet. Um. No shit. Well, I mean, she still needs to be healed. So it could be worse. Must have obtained fifty thousand gold or G gil fifty thousand G. Oh, five though. Fire level one. Oh, I got another teleport tome. Let's go. The two people can learn it now. God damn it. stairs, correct? No. That means... Get us the fuck out of here, man. She was almost dead.
boy, do I have a lot of money. Um, get the Mithra back to Altair. Princess Hilda's waiting for you. Wait, I have to go. Oh, I have to go back to Altair. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Sam Scrunch, I should have stayed at the end. I'm going to go back. Where are you in? Uh, right in front of me. You know what? You know what? We're going to move her forward. Because why not? got enough health at this point. She should be able to handle herself. And everybody loves a chick with an axe. Thirty-two gil, just a got into a fight in the middle of town that's not how that's supposed to work Where is this? This is Paloom, okay. It's Mithru. I've been waiting for the chance to work this metal for as long as I can remember. All right, leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you name it, I'll start crafting. It's been too long since I let my hammer ring. You can buy the equipment I made over at the shop counter. This will keep my hands full, I tell you that. Okay. Alrighty. I want a mithril spear. Uh, I want a mithril mace. I want a mithril sword. Nah, you can keep the axe, that's fine. Actually, no, you keep the axe. 
Uh, Mithra. I will sell... Uh, nah, I'll keep the javelin, that's fine. Who's not wearing a copper cuirass? Uh, I will get rid of at least one broadsword. talk to the the princess real quick see what she has to say the dark knight overseeing the dreadnought's construction was most capable fortunately for us he's tending to other matters now the theft of the mithril has likely knocked the empire off balance i would like you to journey to bosk or to stop dreadnought from being completed this may be our only chance we have a man in bosk He's found a way to reach the Dreadnought. I want you to destroy it. At the very least, find a way to delay its completion. Alright. I will fly to Bofsk. And I will save outside of Bofsk. Which is fun to say Bofsk. Uh, and uh, then I will stop for the evening. And we can continue this tomorrow. God, I love... Final Fantasy, man. I, I love I love turn-based JRPGs. They're so chill. I will I will eventually play Persona. <laughs> One of them, at least. <laughs> eventually, those games are hyper chill too. Uh, they're a bit more anime than most would like. Most would consider their personal oh wait 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 ah wait. Uh, that reminds me I need to buy some attack magics what do you have nope actually you know what Maria's gonna be my my mage for the most part, but she's gonna be a battle mage. Like she's real good with a bow, pretty good with an axe. That's that's my goal. I like I like having a I like having a badass lady that can heal my wounds and chop off the head of a snake. And by snake, I mean a giant snake. I ain't talking about no gardener, garden snake or none of that nonsense. No, 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 no. She'll run up to a basilisk and just be like, watch out. Well, she's got purple hair. I mean, come on. Amazing. Final Fantasy 2. Waifu. You want waifus? You want to know what those are? 15 years before people start talking about waifus. We got it in our game. 
No, I don't want her to crush me. I want her to crush my enemies. And then take care of me. I'm a simple person. Uh, two boss. Hey, hey, thanks, buddy. The airship will be waiting for you outside. All right, cool. Is that Spike Spiegel being like, I just want a mommy that's going to kick my ass? Yep. I love that I knew what it was before even clicking on it or even looking at it. God, I'm my brain is so broken from the internet. Why am I getting in fights in town? This should be a safe zone. <laughs> this is annoying. Mode seven. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, all right. We're done. We're done for the evening. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. <laughs> uh, oh, goddamn. No, don't play that. Hold on. Here. There. Man, I don't want to listen to that. I don't want to listen to that either. No. 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 Definitely not. No. No. Sure. That's fine. I've never... I... I hated Boy in the Blob on uh, a Boy in His Blob on the NES. I hated that game. I did not understand it. I know a lot of people did enjoy it, and to them I say, "Well, good for you." I, however, didn't. I think I'm gonna go to the store real fast, and I'm gonna get myself some popcorn because I now, thanks to Dragoon's comment yesterday, I now randomly have the thought of I want popcorn. I'm gonna go get some pop. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for hanging out. I should be back tomorrow. Um, no, no, no need to be sorry. Popcorn's delicious. Never be sorry for making me want food. At least it wasn't a milkshake. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, probably more of this, and then Sunday, Sunday I might just play a few hours of Elden Ring for the casual sake of playing Elden Ring for a few hours because why not? Or I'll play more of this because both are super chill games in my opinion and um, I like to stream super chill things and just kind of chill. Yeah. Yeah. Until next time, have yourself a wonderful weekend. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Until next time, have yourself a wonderful weekend, uh, and uh, I hope you'll stop by again. Um, farewell. <laughs>